Hello, welcome back. A momentous occasion here. Um, this uh, Echinopsis cactus that you might have seen on one of our other videos, or maybe two of our videos, um, smothered in flowers in the, um, in the spring and sometimes through the summer, has become a bit wobbly uh, in the pot. It was starting to lean over. Um, not sure what's caused that. It's quite elongated, so you know it's kind of getting quite top heavy. It's also got some little babies starting to appear at the bottom. Maybe they're pushing him over. Um, it can also be caused, I've looked, kind of looked, we've, we've researched it a bit, it can be caused by being a little bit too damp. So cacti like to be on the dry side. Um, because we like um, adding our um, tomato feed, um, sometimes we're you know, very generous with the tomato feed and forget that actually this compost needs to dry out um, quite often. So whatever the reason, he now needs to go from here into a nice big um, big new pot and we can see if we can get him to kind of stay upright there. Um, so what we've done prior to this um, uh, is we've just gone around with a knife and just kind of cut around the uh, or cut, slid the knife around the edge of the pot here and we've allowed this compost to dry out quite a lot. It's been left unwatered for about a month, something like that. And when, when a um, compost goes dry, it shrinks slightly. So that gave us a bit of an air gap around the, around the edge of the, um, the root ball, around the side of the pot, so we could get the knife down. And um, we have noticed gloves are a good idea. And we're also going to uh, wrap this fella in some, uh, some newspaper um, as a double protection when we actually come to transplant him. So, nice glazed pot, uh, nice kind of jump in size, um, quite a big jump actually. So again, watering in the future, we need to make sure that you don't over water when you've got a big swathe of compost around the edge. Um, they won't like being too damp too soon. In the years to come when it's filled it with roots, then it can cope with being damp. Drainage is important. So we're gonna put some gravel. And here the big, big stone first, and then so. Good layer of drainage there. Now we've got the cactus, cactus compost here. Which um, I'm going to have to lean up against there a minute. Oh. Stay. So, cactus compost, which will have sand and grit mixed in with it already. Yeah, very sandy, I can see that there. Now, I'm just going to try and make a bit of a hollow in the center there. Hopefully, we'll make a hollow that's exactly the right size for the root ball to fit in. That's not bad. Okay, so compost, gravel, gloves, newspaper. Daily Mail, doesn't have to be the Daily Mail. So now then, you can see that we've got this problem, he's wobbling, strange, you know, maybe it's not that strange, I wonder whether or not these little babies are pushing him over. Uh, I'm torn between allowing the babies to grow and getting a kind of a clump, and if there's a clump, there might be almost be like stability in numbers, you know, particularly if we can get some more, there is actually a little baby starting around this side as well. I'm going to, it seems to flop that way, so I'm just going to firm the compost a little bit so that... I 
Okay, and then I've got a couple of little wedge-shaped stones here. Um, little one and a bigger one. And I'm just thinking if I gently, there we are, and another one just here. Okay. level does look a bit on the high side at the moment but of course this will all settle particularly if I press it down like that and even after pressing it down it will settle some more over the next the next few months when we uh, Water it, and just through gravity, the compost will will settle. And what we're hoping then is that the the wider root system into this pot will kind of lock it into place then, and give us the stability that we need. Can you get underneath? Yeah. No, and from the side, from this side. This side? This, yeah, but just put the compost. Yeah, under underneath that. Here. The big baby. Yeah, yes, but underneath this. towards the big cap, the big cap. That's it. Yep. Yeah, push it. In. I might um, help it. That's it. That's it. Get a bit nearer. There was there was nothing there. You don't know. Oh, okay. Just lean it this way. So push. There we are. So, if this was a business, it would be Echinopsis and Sons. Um, and we'll keep you posted and see how uh, how they perform as a little family together in this bigger box. Or daughters. Or daughters, yes. Thank you. Any comments, questions, suggestions? Gratefully see via our YouTube channel.